This is what it's like after you've injected 0.17 grams of crystal meth. We're running again with the spit and get them from it. It was like. I inserted the hyperdermic syringe into my arm. My camouflaged lanyard tourniquet was tightly fastened and pinched beneath my pet armpit. I slowly inserted the needle, first in, pulled that, dropped that on the plunger, drew back, drew back, drew back, drew back on the plunger to check, to register. Oh, there it was, the blood, the blood, the blood. My hands were starting to get greasy. It was harder to slide. I had to push it forward slowly with the grip of my hands, friction pushing down. Uh, the needle, I had to watch the needle. The needle was making sure it didn't fly out of the vein because it was still there. Yet, at the same time, I needed to release the tourniquet so I wouldn't back up and cause my dope to spill out of the vein because it was backed up. Fuck! Jesus Christ! This is what's all that's going on in my head. Slowly pushing it. Oh, registering again. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. But the tourniquet's still on. Fuck, I know it's going to pop. I'm going to pop like a balloon. Slowly pushing it forward even more. Oh, yeah, there goes the shot. Best, I must have aspirated seven times. Just finally, with about 15, with about five units of dope left in blood, I pulled the needle out, let go of the tourniquet, flew through my this arm, this hand in the air, fucking went like this, and... <clears throat> you got a cough to get off, that's what they say. And I was fucking high. I'm high as a kite right now. <laughs> I'm probably going to make no sense. <laughs> I bet when I look back on this, I'm going to make no sense. This is why you shouldn't shoot Christine. But just the other day, I was a slimy heroin and I almost died. So it's a good trade-off for me. Welcome to my life. It sucked, but I love it.